you, you know, you were at Michigan State a couple of years ago. Just what do you remember about that game? And obviously, it was kind of a weird game for you guys with Coach Day not being there. Yeah, it was a COVID game, so it was the whole season was weird. But I mean, that's a good ball team, good tradition up there. So I mean, we're excited to go play. Were you on the trip when they went four years ago? No, I was still in high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a year's in my yeah, head. No. Just, you know, going on the road for the first time this year, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's important. I mean, this is where uh, I mean, we're going to be tested up there, and uh, you're not going to be comfortable in our home stadium here. So we're excited to go see what we can do up there and what we're made of on the road. Okay, now you're saying he feels like you, know, you can learn something about the team going on the road. What do you feel like are the things you're going to learn about the team this weekend? Uh, I mean, that's a really good question. I mean, we're going to see how well we're gelled together, really, and if we're as tight as what we are. And I think we are. Uh, I mean, when things go bad on the road, it's easier to get uh, it's easier to get bickering at each other and stuff like that. But I mean, I think we have a really great team, and I don't think that stuff's going to happen. So I don't think we're going to go up there. We're going to have a good, uh, have a nice game up there. Oh, he has receivers out here two or three times a week, every every week. Constantly thought like the Jackson thing is obviously the connection they have. It's right. easy to talk about making sure he's got that type of connection with everybody. Receiver and well, we have Luke Whitworth to the right. Involved with tight ends have previously here. Does, you guys get that sense from him that he's got. He can tell when you guys maybe aren't as involved. Uh, yeah. I just think. I mean, I just think he sees. I mean, that guy. He sees way more than anybody else sees and he does I mean he that guy there's nobody else watches more film and sees I mean opportunities to attack this and what players gonna be able to attack that. So I mean he sees that and he'll come to us during the week and tell us, hey this will be like that, this will be like that and sure enough to get in the game and it's gonna be like that. So what's a conversation with him like on the sideline about what is he questions about why you do it this way. No, I mean, it's not, it's not, Thank it's, you. it's not that, it's never that deep. I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, we try and look at it like you're going out there. I mean, you're playing ball like you did when you were six, seven years old, and you just don't play ball. Kate, obviously, Mitch got his adjusted to that full pullback role, had the pullback guy touchdown, but just in the blocking scheme, just how important is Mitch Rossi to, to you guys, whether he's lining up a fullback or lining up on the other line as a tight end? No, he's an important player. That's a, that's a good, smart football player. I mean, he can put in a lot of, a lot of different positions. I mean, he's going to block well. Uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's a key contributor, especially getting down. I mean, red zone-wise, as far as being able to have the different formations, put him in, uh, keep defense on our toes. Is the, is the physical toll on a tight end, how does that compare to putting your face on somebody at linebacker? You take more of a physical toll at tight end for sure. Yeah, uh, you run. You run way more at, at tight end. Uh, so I, I, I've adjust, I mean, I feel like I've adjusted well to the physical toll as far as physical demands and stuff like that. So I mean, just staying in, just staying in the training room, making sure you're on top of your stuff, and other than that, make sure you walk next day. Yeah, I know you. You love that part of it, but just being physical does it does it change the way you have to? handle a Sunday or a Monday? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you you definitely spend more time in here just as far as just little things getting right. I mean, just if it's another, if you come back after you, after practice and just sit in the ice tub again, like just little things like that, that'll help. I mean, you can feel a difference when you go to practice on Tuesday.